doing here? <laughs> Honestly. I was just talking about the new cards, and then Namaz told me to go cast, but I don't even... Like, I was eliminated so long ago, I, I, don't, I didn't know what was going on anymore. So, what's going on now is we're playing the Losers Final. We're casting losers? We're casting losers. Bad, so after the losers fight it off, and like one of the two losers' snails kind of kills the other loser's snail, one of them's going to move on is for greatness. Is What's the up? winner of a loser's match a winner? No, he's just like a lesser loser. Okay. So okay. The, the thing then is that they fight off against Admirable. And his, and his base... Well, I mean, like he's the only one who drafted decks that I would like to say are amazing. I feel like you, your shaman as well, right? Yeah. Like your shaman, his hunter, and his warrior, pretty much the only three decks that I was like, yeah, this is awesome. The rest was like, oh, let me play, let me try to find backstab of this and si, and if I don't, then my deck sucks. And so far, it's pretty much what's been happening. Um, Admirable has been taking a massive dump on all the rogues. But again, who's playing? Um, right now, it's Stripe against the um... <laughs> Shocky. I think. I think was Shockey it against Stripe? Did Orange win? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're supposed to stall and chill. I'm, it's the new Netflix and chill. I'm, I'm waiting for that Ancient Watch to get some value. Yeah, Coghammer is pretty good. Yeah, just... It, one of these games, his hand's actually just going to be Ancient Watch or Coghammer. He's going to win. He's going to win the game right away. And yeah. Amaz is going to laugh evilly somewhere. Yeah, I mean, if you gave him Millhouse, I'd be with like honor. pretty okay with it. But it looks like Strive Pro versus Orange, so these two guys oh my God. are going to be in the Strike. ultimate face-off. Right, so, you, you play Arena, right? Yeah, a lot. Do you keep Flame Strike in your hand? Um, against, when I have Blizzard, no. But Flame Strike is better than Blizzard. No, it's not. Oh my god, is that, is that Stray's hand again? Stray, no, this is Orange deserving of his Paladin choice. No, one of the things to keep in mind here, um, is that Orange has paid for the advantage. Yeah, he, he had like the three decks, yeah, right? He's and he's about to get knocked out. So I believe if he actually loses this, he's actually behind he's, on overall most points. Yeah, he's losing. I'm really the most. cheering Orange for Orange to actually lose this, so he's actually losing the competition. Right, because he, he beat me, so I'm resentful as a person. So. That's fine. Like, do you prefer the color orange or purple? Right, I think purple I have, is the I have, obvious. I have one. more orange in my what wardrobe. Myth. It's very weird. So you wear orange like yeah, like your skin? Like I wear orange all over me. That is that is hot. So if we if like, let's assume that purple likes to have orange close to his skin, um, does that mean you, you feel some kind of sympathy if he loses, or is it really like pure resentment? No, he beat me. It's pure resentment. Okay, so you're very spiteful. Uh, my name is Purple, but I like I could have two colors, maybe three. Yeah, and I see. Orange, orange could definitely be one of them. What's going on in this game? Um, it's oh, like, we have that cog hammer. We can draw that ancient watcher. Now. It's really, he's really. I was gonna say he's really just missing a little bit here to get maximum value. Now, this argent lance, if it had one more charge, would be insane, right? As a two three, two three for two mana without the overload, I'd play that everywhere. Too many three health minions. Uh, well, unconstructed, anyways. Yeah, unconstructed would be pretty rough. But I mean, you can always. In arena, the card would be absolutely busted. This cog hammer is good, though. Oh man. Oh, which one is he stealthing? Oh no, he's stealthing the, the three one. Three. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't like that. It's evil. I think Kyle Gamers has to be the play here, right? Oh, the ooze! Which does nothing, but the cool thing is you can always kill the mini- You have to kill the Micro Machine ASAP, right? Um, yeah, that That's guy, one of the things that we've learned. Quick. Yeah. It's actually like, to me it's like better than Jade, because- I think it is, it's only in the some cases. The attack doubles, like who cares about the health? Yeah, like for the first three turns it's basically a double, double, double. Like, yeah. while the, for the time it comes back to you. Um, so yeah, in many cases it does, uh, it does that. Now, the value of those minions, though, in Orange's Mage Hand is... Actually, yeah, I think Strike Pro was the Paladin one here. That is actually... You were, you were right, Strike Pro was the Paladin. So... Yeah, Orange is... Yeah, they Orange is playing have, the, the Mage. They both have Mage, so I'm confused. Yeah, Strike Pro, the thing is, he's got, like, um, no AoE, that I recall. Whereas Orange picked up a Blizzard and a Flame Strike, yeah. like, earlier. Uh... So if you play Venture Co... In mm -hmm. this case, it just gets frozen forever, and then you can't play anything. Yeah, you always lose, or you can play... Dark scale. I wouldn't mind Flame Juggler Ooze before yeah, you see the Blizzard and the Flame Strikes. Yeah, yeah get your comes small out. minions out of your hand, try to get do something with them on the board. Yeah, the alternative is, I was going to say Dark scale, but that's like... Oh, with the dark... It's okay with you, the weapon. Do you preemptively hit the Water Alley with the Cog Hammer? No, uh, Then you... that thing has to die eventually, right? I mean, what if it freezes you again, right? And like... And, and they find a way to kill the 4-5 and you end up stuck in, in hell. Yeah, it's just taking 3 damage, really. Well, that's hell. That's that's just a... Okay. Quick shot, Eagle Horn Bow, right? That's hell. Yes. Alright, are we seeing the missiles here? What's going on? 
I don't know. I I want to say just play on yeah. tempo and you know deal with him after with Blizzard. Oh, oh yeah, actually. I mean, on seven he's got the aspirant ping arc and missiles, right? So that's like four missiles going on plus the ping. That's that's like you're waiting all that time just to get the one extra missile on turn seven. Well, yeah, I, I, it, it previous like the, the previous turn is Blizzard, right? So, so it makes it good. We're holding that mm. missiles for turn five. Turn, we're skipping it for two turns just to get one extra missile. Yeah, because I play Blizzard to kill those one ones anyway, right? That is some dedication. It is. You do not get to rank seventeen by pure chance, Purple. So, I've, in my experience, like the the mage that has AOE just kind of wins in this situation. I want to say so, yeah, but like he's. Like, uh, the Paladin's just gonna play stuff and it's just gonna die. I mean, Strife Crow is, uh, if he knows what's up, probably gonna be trading away uh, the 4-5 the and the 1-1. One, one, try to maximize the, the value he gets. Oh. But if he gets Blizzarded... Oh, he's gonna keep the... I like that he's play. He's gonna keep his 4-5 uh, at high health. I love this. I love that's this play. Nice, that's nice. Very well done, Strife Crow. He seems proud of himself. Eating some candy. So, Blizzard or go? something. Well, there's also... Next turn you get your four missiles? Yeah. The dream? Yeah. Strictly worse than Flamewaker, but... No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, whoever made Aspirant and... Fl like, Flamewaker came out in Black Rock Mountain. Yeah. Next expansion, they said, let's print a much, much, much worse Flamewaker. Why do you think about that the deck? Why do you think uh, he didn't go face with the Yeti? Uh, because he thinks there's no way that this gets consecrated on turn seven. That wouldn't be a very good consecrated. Yeah, it would uh, be a pretty bad one. So, but look at this! What's the play? Do you play the... The Doctor Boom? Or the... Nah, I play the Golem, man. All day. That, that's the Doctor Boom. Oh, the Doctor Boom? Yeah. I mean, he's a Goblin. Golem. He's more of a Doctor Boom. Whoa, Venture Co. He's the, yeah, he's more like you get a one extra 1-1 one, one, and you lose only one health in the Venture Co. You force an answer. But... Uh, you died, like, it's fine. Right? That's... It's not fine? I, I, I don't know. Strife I, 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 has... my, my instincts tell me to just blow on Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, he's got a bigger yeah, nose, so obviously the bigger damage. Fair. Yeah. Uh, for duty. Oh, so are we finally getting the four missiles here? I mean, he has oh, to. You've, you've been hyping this up for so He's long. committed. You have seen his lines of play. Wait, does he start with a missile? Because this is where I'm I rage quit. So I rage quit. <laughs> At least get the extra missile. Come on. We've been uh, waiting this, for this since turn five. Don't Let's do go. this, Orange. You can get like five missiles total with your ping. Mm. That's like four. Oh. Five pings. Okay, yeah. Five one damage sources going outwards to the enemy face. Oh my god. Oh. But you can like save it for like a time where the guy doesn't die on board. Knowledge well, he's not gonna die on board. The three five never dies on board because you trade the Yeti away. And then you ping. Oh, okay. And out comes the value. What if it all misses? You to seven one living. Let's do this. I wanna see this. Oh, yep. Okay, he does keep his two one to trade with. Oh, wow. Uh, which, what do you do here? Commander or all the one? They do like the same thing, right? Yeah, they kind of do the exact same thing. Um, I mean, Argent Commander is better, probably, because you've seen a Blizzard, there's a Flame Strike left and some janky Torch plays. And I guess you base tank the 3 1 at the end of this. So you can... Force the Mage off of Curve? Well, you can't, because well, you can't ping the 2 1 and the 1 yeah. 1, meaning one of them's there for all the one next time. I like that. So you're guaranteed to keep a minion if there's no. Uh... Fear is your last weapon charge, on the other hand, and you're actually getting kind of low. But there's no. F you've pretty much seen everything from that guy's deck. There's no fireballs, no pyro blast. There's a spell slinger. There is a spell slinger. That's damage. Yeah, it is. See, this is kind of where like Kabbalah's Stone looks gorgeous. Like we were talking about this card in constructed uses and how tough it would be to fit. But in arena, that card in a spot like this would basically like you take a wave of damage, but then you probably have uh, okay. the the new Kabbalah's Stone that's what, coming what out. It, what does it do? Get five spells. Uh, three spells in your hand, like the... Oh, the five mana. Yeah, yeah, five mana, draw three. Dude, look at this top. Look at this spell thing. Just look at this. That's real life. <laughs> yeah, it's good though. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a few extra turns in this game. Yeah, I wonder if Strife Crow is going to play with fire and wait as long as possible to pull the trigger on it. You got to go for the full body. Yeah, you got to go for the like the Reno Jackson tree of life. Oh, man. Nice, nice, nice. That, the problem with doing that is like... Mage has that hero power and he's low in cards, so he's like guaranteed to have the mana to hero power. Okay, so what if you start with Keeper of Uldamon? Huh, and huh. then buff and it then up. And then buff it up. I like it, I like it. That's pretty good. How about you go for No, you don't go for it. Don't put it up. I mean, you could always just play War Golem and trade into the 2 1. That's also. Yeah, the 1 1 into the 2 1 is a pretty good attack. Yeah, it's like it's safe. 
Um, wait, wait. Oh, that's so good. With the tree of life heals minions. Minions, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then you value trade with the war golem next turn, and then you you, uh, you heal from like ten to thirty, and you mm. heal up your war golem at the same time. You got to do that. Unbelievable. Right? You got to do that. unbelievable value. I mean, the upside of doing oh, this is no. that you are you are forcing the mage to expend worthless mana on this. There's no. Oh, way. that was the other way of doing it. You're, He's buffing the three three. He's making a three three of the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good too. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the shattered sun comes down. You can trade into the three three. Or dragon's breath happens. Yeah. No, you can do both. Well, it's a nightmare. Because the that's... dragon's breath will cost three mana after the trade into the three three, right? Full clear. Yeah, that's yeah, a full, full clear this turn. For uh, orange, who actually stays in this game a little bit longer with minions on board, yeah, absolutely. and card draw. So the, the, the war golem should just end it, right? I mean, you oh, say wait, that. Wait, he's going to shatter some on the. He's not trading, so he's banking on the. F oh, he's going to use dragon's breath for face. He doesn't know the tree of life is right there. All right, there's there's <laughs> there's double value trade in the tree of life. You have right? to. You have to. The, the, but the war gonna work, wrecks yeah, that, you, man. That guy hits for eight, right? Yeah. That's all. No, wait, ten. It's so much. Is it? Eight. Is it? It's no. It's plus two attack. Plus one attack. Let yeah. Plus one. Think. Yeah, plus one. So that's ten. Because it gets wind fury, right? So it looks broken. Uh, when it's really not as broken as it looks. Oh, that's a decent card to draw right there, Strife Crow. Well done. Why has he not played his war goal, man? Because he's been chilling for so long. That's Strife Crow, man. He just like stalls and chills. I don't want to play the Wargong. If you had Doctor, if, I guarantee if that was Doctor Boom, you would play Doctor Boom. He would have, I mean, yeah, but I, like I hear they're pretty much the card. Yeah. My understanding of things. That's right. I do yeah. play Wargong in my decks. Ooh, Violet Teacher value of the Dragon's Breath. So you can ping like the two one Dragon's Breath. To, or, the, are we still committed to the face plan here? I think the face plan is still very much in uh, in his line of sight. Oh! Well, the face plan's going down. Cause he's gonna be able to dragon's breath right now and look at his face when Tree of Life comes out. Do you really Tree of Life? Is, is he really gonna just dragon breath? Nah, the no here? way. There's no way. It would be fun, but Orange knows better. Oh. Is there a world in which Strife Crow dies to direct damage without fireballs in Orange's deck? I he's got a Roaring it. Torch, man. That could be it. That's sick. That's yeah, that's lethal. Like, Holy crap, that is lethal. Roaring Torch coming out of this top deck. Yeah, he's yeah. played one Torch early, I think. Uh, that's, that's, that's not oh, it. Oh, so close. Wrong burn spell. But that is a pretty good burn spell to so have. You, just so I guess you just... Buy time. Do you frostbolt the, the golem or do you... Go, I guess you do. Protect the teacher. Yeah, you protect the teacher you, and you, you ping You do along. three damage with the violet teacher anyway. Right, right. So you, yeah, you do a lot of work good. with this. And it looks like, like you think from that perspective that you're able to clean up the board next turn. Is it trail? Uh, oh, oh my God! Is it trail lifetime yet? Nah, you got a Guardian of Kings with an Oyotron. You're you're healing for like 19 plus 3, 22. But do you think that go do you think the Golem is gonna die? You well, it dies on board. Well, does it with an Oyotron? Uh, no, it no longer dies on board. That's we're correct. We're good. So we're good. It's, we're, good. We're, we're good to go. And the Kazan Mystic yeah, coming just, out as a bad Yeti. Yeah, that embarrassing time when you draw Kazan Mystic. Well, you know, it sometimes works. Is it, Occasionally oh, useful. Is, is he still playing for board controller? He is. Oh boy. And uh, I think he's actually going to be able to do it because yeah. Tree of Life is looking a little bit less powerful now. It's still really good. You get to trade the teacher of the fox. Or do you trade the Kazan? Oh man. That's not a very good If draw. you trade with the Kazan, you're forcing a ping next turn, right? A ping on what? Like, if he wants to kill the 5-6. But if he picks up a spell, he gets more 1-1s, and that sucks. Because, like, if you use Tree of Life, right, like, you're forcing the 2 mana, it's you still have to kill the teacher. How mm. likely it is that your opponent draws a spell in Arena? You have more minions than spells, right? I don't know. Right? This guy's got a ton of minions, uh, spells. I think Orange drafted the most spells out of everyone. And, and, and Constructed, you definitely kill the teacher every time. Yeah. And Real Life, yeah. And the <laughs> orange is face. And we thought this game was about to end, but now both players are at 30 health again. Yeah, orange at least with the uh, the non-BM <laughs> smile. He's just like, really, this happened? Well, that's my fault for playing Spell Slinger. Yeah, that card's uh, not very good. It's, it's amazing. I remember back when like everybody was trying to play it, like in uh, Tempo Mage for a while. Yeah, uh, and then people it, realized it's not a good card. It's okay, but you don't get the initial... Oh! Well, it's, yeah. Uh, it's good, but it's not that good. Well, it's good. 
actually really important that the huge toe doesn't ping the the 5-5. Five five, five, yeah. Because then you can, if it doesn't ping the 5-5, five five, then you can put the Lance Carrier on the 1-1. One one, and then you can't you ping can the 3-1. You can ping the 1-1, one one. One. yeah. Ping both. He's got to choose which ping he makes, like either the 1-1 one one or the 5-5. Five five. Oh, that's big. So that means he's going to have two you targets. Don't, you don't have the Lance Carrier immediately, but... I, I mean... You don't, because he's just going to ping the... If they, you push one damage by playing it immediately. You can save it for the element of surprise. Yeah, right? I, I think the element of surprise with a possible oh, wow, trade. Ah, yeah, pace is good. Yeah, because you're forcing the trade anyway, right? Unless there's Roaring Torch off the top. Uh -oh. oh, that that's a card you don't want to see. Yeah, that's. I mean, you well, might wait, right? Not a good draw, right? You, I think you might wait, right? I think you ping the one one and you go face for four. Yeah, you both kind of just keep trading with each other's one ones. But what if he picks up Argent Protector? What do you do then? What? Yeah, do you just concede? Is there an Argent Protector in the other person's deck? I think Strife Pro's got an Argent Protector in his deck. Alright, that's, that's viable too, just ping the 5-1. Yeah, so, wow, this game's gonna take forever. Not so much. That's a good draw. Yeah. That's a good draw. But, do, what does so Orange they, have they, left? Are, maybe a Conjurer could turn the game. Yeah, Conjurer, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Conjurer into Duplicate? I, I, I feel like if, in th this kind of position, if there were, were to be a secret coming out, you never trade into Conjurer, especially with the Sledge Belt. Yeah, the so what would you do if you were... Uh, Strife, like if you were orange and you saw Conjurer, you what's like the it, best yeah. spell you're hoping for? Yeah, it. Oh. Echo of Medivh might work. In yeah, some of course, like French cases. Gives you an extra six three. It's not great. Uh, so you kind of get a clear here, but I, it, it's kind of like important to actually kill this off. Okay. Yeah, like kill off the one one because like when you reset this, you can always ping off the new one one. Yeah. Oh no, more minions. <laughs> orange <laughs> is like, well, I, I guess I can maybe find more answers. Uh, yeah. These sub like battles are kind of a snore fest, though. I feel like Paladin's just slowly going to grind them out. Like, yeah, sorry. like they both. Uh, Jungle Pepper. This is insane! They just keep getting one another's answers. Yeah, Jungle Pepper will eventually kill the this engine. This engine but every, every time this happens, like the Paladin's just pushing okay. a tiny bit of damage. Okay, there we go. See, this is it. Yeah, but you just put that on this engine, buff it up by plus five. Yeah. Hit, hit him in base rate. You're just good to go. Is there, is there an MC tech? Oh, no, you should not spread the damage here. Well, you could. Against an empty hand? Oh, well, you put Seal of Champions on this engine. But I, I put it there everywhere. Every time. Oh, he's actually not going to play Seal of Champions. No, nah, no way. You have, I think you have to, or else, like, see, is there a second flame strike? There is none, but okay. maybe a conjurer into something, like, really janky. I don't, I mean, you set up lethal for next turn anyway. Uh, or you're forcing him down no, a path you where you're... You, you're, like, you're five off, but... You're really close. Like, cause if he's but I guess you, to can, trade, you can't lose for me, you can't lose for me, right? As long as there's no second flame strike. Uh, Roaring Torch would kill Senjin. Roaring Torch would kill Senjin. Yeah. This is like the tree of life that did it all, right? Like otherwise, I think Strike Pro was just out of this. Over time, Orange picked up enough direct damage oh. to do it. Wow, oh my goodness! Trade. So there's nine, ten, eleven. He so he wants to get the value trade with the Panther. I think so. That's a lot of self damage inflicted. Yeah, he's going to two. Yeah, he he's going down. He's going. He's going nowhere. Is there a Frost Nova out of Scarab? That would buy one turn. That would definitely extend the game. Yeah. <laughs> And it is nothing useful, and uh, Strife Pro feeling quite smug about the Tree of Life. Oh, so happy. Yeah, a happy little koala bear. Love this guy. It's hard not to love him. Orange is smiling, but I, I think he's upset at Tree of Life. Or Orange! But does he actually win that game without the Tree of Life? Yeah. You think? He had a Frost Bolt, he had a Roaring Torch and a Forgotten Torch. He never drew it. He drew, he drew a Frost Bolt. He drew a Frost Bolt. I Guarding the Kings would have... Yeah, I guess, I guess not. I guess not. I don't think he would have won. He lost the board anyway. Nah, let's pretend Tree of Life won the game. What did it heal? It healed a minion. Yeah, it healed a minion. I guess that, that was... That gave a lot of value, actually. Yeah, the minion trading, I think, was a big deal, because it ended up getting like a 3 or 4 for 1. That's uh, a good mage hand. Uh, for Strike Pro? Yeah. Or uh, Orange. Oh, uh, let's look at the bottom. The bottom, yeah, that's Strike Pro. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four. That's good. Uh, well, so Orange also has a pretty decent hand, right? Like at the top there yeah. with the uh, well, Spell Slinger giving another Tree of Life. It's a little awkward. The, the Loot Hoarder is not good against like any ping class. If it force in Arena, it's actually okay because you force a ping, which buys you an extra turn to get to three. Uh, in Constructed, they have a game plan. In Arena, yeah. they want to get on the board, and they really don't want to get on yeah, the board. Yeah, but if they, if they play the first minion, though, you're not getting on the board. Yeah, never. Like, yeah, you're out. Well, looks like Spellslinger is going to try to trade, and I, I agree with this line of play. 
Oh, bless champ. This that is, is. fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, let's do this. this. Oh, Arcane Intellect is actually like super value, right? Yeah, it's insane. Draw two. Uh, I'd rather have the bless champion, personally. Yeah, I mean, given that you have War Golem, I mean, Dr. Boom, and you have like Ventricle Mercenary, I mean, Dr. Boom, then you've got always like a good target. Yeah, that's 14. Yeah. That guy never dies, right? There's no, there's, there's no, no there's, fireball. There's no mage card of the six. No, if there were a card in mage that dealt six damage, that'd be OP. That'd be overpowered, I think. It would have to cost at least five mana. At least five. At least five. You think fireball needs to cost five? It used to cost five. Really? Yeah, in alpha. They changed it. That seems weak. It was weak. It was awful. Mage sucked. <laughs> and frostbolt was three. It was unplayable. All right, so counter water elemental yeti or what? What's the other guy called? The three five dude. The three five dude is called uh, the the law the the, the the something Asper. Dalran Dalron aspirant something. Ooh. And when Dark you use your hero power, he says, "I learn." So there's dark scale value, but I really want to set up the the blessed champ in here. What do you think? I think so too. Yeah, you gotta go for the blessed. You gotta go for the blessed champion. That, so you do fourteen next turn. You put him to sixteen. Oh wow, he's trading there. Yeah, that's good because then the yeti. Can, no, go face. Like I mean, almost. I was gonna say if he froze the yeti, then that means that seven six never dies almost. Your opponent's not double trading into that. Of course they are. They're, the check, player on the blessed champion. Look at yeah, check it out, check it out. He's because he's got a blizzard, right? There's no way he's double trading. Squire, okay. Attending. He's just gonna go full he's, face. He's right? going full face here. I, yeah, I mean, I agree. The thing is, like, if there's no blizzard, then he goes. Oh please, bless champion! Get him! Get him! Oh man, the punish! And he's got the he's got the flame strike on seven, and the roaring torch you got on eight. I mean, all all your plays that aren't bless champion kind of just suck here. Yeah, you just go full face. How do you lose? I mean, well, blizzard kills you. Oh my god! Yeah, you get pretty punished. Because oh, the Yeti doesn't die, you'd have to at least attack into the Yeti with your water oh, here. Oh, we're going to do the Entity and the Torch. That is boring. And we're probably trading off the... Oh my... Blah. Missed 14 damage. Yeah. How do you win? Oh, yeah. he's going to ping that, okay. I mean, I like his line of play for the safety purposes, but you know there's Flame Strike and there's Blizzard in that deck, so... But we put both our guys to do health. Yeah, it makes the Blizzard... Oh, run. the Kazan missed Off it. the top! Oh no! We should, should have played Blessed Champion. We didn't play around Kazan, man. Yeah, he didn't. I know. I the last champion was way better. Yeah, it was it way played better. played around Kazan. They played around everything. They played around everything. Did you make that trade, the 4-2 to the 3-2? No, we just go face. But there's Flame Strike. If I get Flame Strike, then that's fine. But there's... It's yeah, there's... Wild Pyro plus, like, on the Arcane Explosion, like, kills your Water Ellie on the you, following turn. This is good. You can Pyro Torch Bang. No, you wouldn't that's... do that. I think you just Flame Strike oh, wait, no, face. Oh, wait, there's Entity. Yeah, you just go face. You go face, Link Strike. Pyro, Pyro Arcane Explosion is pretty legit, actually. Well, you, how de you deal with the Mirror Entity, you board player. But then look at your poor little Water Ellie. You have two free ones, you can't ping both. He's got Arcane Missiles. Yeah, I mean, I, you're like, I don't really care. Do it. Should I care enough? No, I don't know. No, it's, it's he's he's spending guard. It it's alright, you clear the board. Like, like, Stripe has two copies of this like, Arcane Explosion in, it, in his deck, right? Yeah. How often do you actually have a board where you can actually arc Never. Explosion no, no. That's why in this tournament, Stripe's actually gotten good value out of it. Stripe Crow's taken everybody by surprise with the arc and explosion. Every single time he's played it, it just got the stupidest value. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, sent, he's starting the revolution in the arena. Yeah. Crip. Watch yourself. Hoffu's got nothing on Strife. Strife oh, is like the panda that doesn't want to play oh, arena, is, but ends up winning at it anyway. This is good. He's building up the spell power. And then, He's building his own flame strike with the blizzard. Uh, you torch trade? I would probably play dark scale healer at some point. Uh, I just don't know how you'd go about it. It's not very good. I mean, you could always just go right for. Now. You could go five drop, three drop face, and lose the AOE. Yeah, die to flame strike basically automatically. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but, it, but it's it's good to load up the board with like stormwind behind it, right? Because I mean, he ends up having to trade his own stuff, but you don't have any more minions afterwards. Uh, yeah. Aside from yeah, dark yeah, scales, yeah, yeah. So. so you super lose after you. You could actually uh, also like stormwind and trade, and because it'll be like a, it'll be frozen. Frozen, and then you can wait one yeah. turn to ping. I kind of like that. I, I like that play. You could also like as uh, as he's doing, just trade and then play your own five drop. Is it better uh, play the four? I play the three drop probably. Then. Okay. Yeah, three drop thing is better. It's weaker to like torch, but it's fine. I think at this point, like this is funny because usually in arena you run into a player uh, that you just don't know the deck. 
what they were playing yeah, but repeatedly, in, in but this, here it's very different. Actually, well, it depends how much you were paying attention. Yeah, I know Strife Pro just basically has been saying, I want to go to bed or do something else. I've been doing that too. Yeah, basically just everyone here is tired. Did you see the pizza and the snacks? Dude, there's so much pizza. How can you watch like Hearthstone when there's snacks? I, I don't know, man. The IZZA is good, but I not good enough. right for the snacks, though. Went right for the snacks? Absolutely. You didn't even wait? That's true. Oh. oh my god, what do you do here? What, 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 the war is so scary. You have to kill the worgen, right? Like but the thing is, if you play the Stormwind and you kill the worgen, I mean, you don't even have to kill it, right? Like, what does it do? Deal eight? Okay, it's scary. a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. That's like rag. Yeah, it's Ragnaros. I target a rag. So maybe you just kill the worgen, and then I, I'd kill the worgen. Plus, your guy's not pro. Well, if you way. killed the water Ellie, then you're still forcing oh, a boy. ping, so you can't ping his own worgen. He has to enable it somewhere, and you can't. So here's what's gonna happen. Oh here. my god. <laughs> Uh, so he's gonna do eight, oh. and then he's gonna cone. No. And then, oh no, wait, he's gonna do ten. <laughs> oh god. Disaster. This is disaster. And this time around, he doesn't have trail life. The good thing he's got the flame strike though, because that that really stalls. Oh, Man is a good one. Yeah, it's a good one to have. It's gonna be a two four baseline, and then yeah. go up to a three four. And I guess we're gonna see a counter. Bless the champion, Man Worm. We're, we're gonna see like the counter flame strike. Yeah, probably counter flame strike here. You get to get a good ping. This too. is some, this is some st standard uh, arena things. This is why I don't play arena. Yeah, but one of those things too is that you know Orange. Uh, I mean, Strife Pro sitting on two five draws for turn ten that he can play at the same time, and that's a, that is really good. Um, Double five drop? Yeah, that's a huge. It's drill. really, really big, uh, really big deal. But the flame strike plus toad plus missiles means that the board will belong to orange still a little bit longer. Is it actually? And the board and the thing with the two flame. Do, do, do you actually want the tempo so badly, or do you, would you rather have a card in hand? I think you'll play it for tempo. I mean, you could ping and. I like I like having a card, man. I don't know, man. Getting the toad on the board is worth. Yeah, like he's so low on health. You've got. Oh, that's a, that's a big one. Unbelievable. Yeah, you just slam it. Double five is really good, though. You can complement their damage with the cold art, right? I mean, you have the <laughs> Blizzard Champion. We keep Why forgetting. have we not played that? Yeah, yet? I don't know, man. I don't know. We could have played that on a curve. <laughs> yeah. No, six. On six on the Venture Curve, and we didn't. Ugh. Alright. Uh, so, Strife Pro wins, he's gonna play against Admirable again. So, even though Admirable did get the handicap from being able oh, to choose wow, his Oh, wow, this sorceress is actually really cool here. Who's this? Oh, Apprentice. Okay. Yeah, you get to play all your cards now. Yeah, you get to play everything. Bro, maybe some more off the off the top deck. Like, oh. Gazlo. He has a. Oh my god. You gotta save the missiles for Gazlo. Yeah, you, right? you save the missiles for Gazlo. Although, you might play you can, just you, Teacher you, plus you, whatever else. Teacher, missiles, Toad? No, you don't even missiles. You just Teacher, Toad. Like, there's no more AoE in Strife Pro's deck, you know that much from knowing the yeah. list. Pay attention, class. So, that's fine. Like, you do have a Gazlo play, you've got- Because the thing is, once you have Blizzard, and you have a board, then you're setting up Lethal a lot more reliably. Uh, that doesn't do anything. I mean, Koldara is kind of okay. Yeah, you can just kill She's one not of them. You, great, kill, but... you kill one of the three dudes, I guess? And you, you- I guess you leave the Violet Teacher alive, right? You might kill Teacher. Like, you, you go Kuldara... But then your second ping doesn't do anything. So you would, like, double ping, leave Teacher alive? Yeah. Uh, yeah because if you ping the Teacher once, what do you do if you're out of ping? As no, you, it's, you, it's you, the best play for board control, so then you're just going full face and forcing him to have the AoE, right? Yeah. That's the only answer. And at, at the worst, he makes tokens, but you have infinite pings. Yeah. As long as the, the guy doesn't die, right? Yeah, we'll have to see, like, how much... Because the thing is, a Sorcerer's Apprentice is not a big threat. Um, not in Arena. Yeah, not in this case. And constructed, you go from you have a sources on the board. You go from dude. I you, you start it. at like zero cards in your in your hand, and you end up the turn of like six your hands and that. Yeah, right? I hate that. Something like conjurer echo. Conjurer echo, echo and or arcane intellect. Yeah, don't even yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. It's but that, that stuff doesn't happen. Sorry, yeah, so. Well, <laughs> yeah, here's no fail fish there from Strike Pro. Uh -oh. Guess the right play. He goes for the trade. Okay. He gets. He goes for the board. Yeah, but actually, just has to straight up kill this six six, right? Or else, t or else uh, he does. He's just gonna ping the three five yeah, five times. This is way too scary. That's cool. You can just spend your turn yeah. pinging five times. It feels good. He has a fallen hero in his deck too. Uh, there, he came Ooh. really close earlier to getting it, but that, they, that was like a polymorph, I think, or the, some like janky removal. The ten mana eight damage combo. Yeah, it's like priest burn right there. Over two turns. Forever. It's a, it's a, looking back at it, it's like really good for him that he saved these missiles. Cause ooh, oh he's gonna miss first because he wants the extra token. But it's really important. 
Because like the, the spectral knight was never gonna die in this situation. Yeah, it it almost just never gets taken down. Oh, that's sick. It's a uh... good trade. Whoa! Full face. face. You sir have balls of steel. All right, do you, we do we ping the violets here by thumbs? Or, or you I'm can, act, I actually you think can actually, you can pick actually, all the other ones. All right? the other, you, you might as well just kill, I think, the 3-3 three, three and the 2-1 one ones, right? Like Because yeah, yeah. that way, he, it's even worse for him. Or is it? I mean... Yeah, it is. It is worse. Because then, otherwise, you can't trade the 2-1 one ones and the ping into the Koldara. You could also get, like, water elemental and triple ping the 3-3. Three, three. So you have the water elemental? The question is, how much damage do you want to leave on the board? Because I, I like, like, if you kill the, everything else, then you remove 5 from the yeah, board, right? Yeah, that's good. CL5. So, and you don't use a card? Yeah. I also like the fact I get... Like, I get to abuse the card, right? So scary. Yeah. <laughs> Just the swag factor. I, I've actually, like, never played that card. I don't even Ever? know I don't even know if I have it. We have to play that next time on Meta Makers. Like, uh, I'm surprised you haven't played that. The major demo deck? It doesn't even have to be demo. It can be anything, Goldara. It's always fun. All right, so he's going to go, like, the middle line of not killing the Violet Keeper, just losing tokens up. Uh, so he's just he's gonna done to that, like, torch. He, yeah. There's he's, a torch in there, right? There's a roaring torch, I think. Oh, oh three, Frostbolt six, is close enough, but that kills the Coldar Drake! Seven, eight, nine. I think you go face. You might oh, no, kill wait, the Drake, wait, 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 you just gotta kill the Drake. Wait, there's 10, 13... No, there's just lethal on board. Yeah, you gotta kill the Drake and ping the 4-1. Yeah. That's not really good, you just win doing this, right? I am ready to well, the Stripe Crow have an out. Look at how Drow's Castle, what were the other picks? Oh, dude, it was so awful. I forget what they were, but they were absolutely... They were so bad, you have no, no idea. That is horrible. Oh! Oh no! No! no. Again. Why? <laughs> not like this. Why, cruel world? This is not what I signed up for. Almost value. Uh, so if you play, I think you're dead on board. You have to. If you play this, you have to bless. It, you have to bless your champion and your elemental, no matter what, right? Yeah, and then you. Ping and then one, you're one, still and then dodged. There's... You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Is there? A, there's not. Oh wait, you can bless champion one of your opponent's minions. And then trade your Cold Master, Master. Draw a card and have one mana, mana left. left. yeah. What, what gets you out of this? Uh, one mana. Ice Lines the 3-6. Theoretically. Yeah? Yeah, that was good. It was Ice Lines. And then you're at one the next turn and you still can't win. Yeah, but oh, you, I, I like mean... That, I like that Concede play, that was real good. I mean, I like I, I play a lot of Concede Mage. Um, That line you just took there, it's pretty standard. I think he took too long. Like, oh, whatever, that game went like 20 turns. When you, play, uh, you know, when you look at this and you're like, I could get Tree of Life out of nowhere, it's, you might consider it. So like on a scale of 1 to 3, um, I asked this two. question earlier. Like two. Okay, Speaking. you would rate Orange 2 out of 3? Oh, and Lux? No, just straight up, like, as, Hearth, a, Hearth, as a Hearthstone player, 2. Very average. Down so the middle two. line. The hair's 3. 3 is good, right? The hair's 3. The hair's 3, but yeah. like as a player, 2? Yeah, too. on a scale of one to three, of course. Yeah. So like, Strike Road said the same thing, and like as soon as I started scaling it up, and I said, "Oh, so like, if we scale this up to fifty percent, you'd say it's like exactly in the middle of the pack." He said, "No." He tried to, you know, take his words back, um, but I slapped him in the face and what, told him what, it was the boss. What happened with this camera? I don't know, but it looks. Oh, like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, "What's going on here?" Uh, but yeah, man, like... this is a constructed end, man. Mana worm cannon coin floor into floor. This is good. <laughs> no, it's it's average. This, this, On a scale of one to three, I'd rate it two. This is average. Yeah. It's my average, like, mage hand. I, I have no response. But, okay. This is not uh, how you get your, your... My mage hands look like this every day. I wake up in the morning, I look at my mage hand, it's like this. This is why people play mage in arena. Yeah. This is why, like, you know, jab... This is absolutely disgusting. Is it? I feel like Wolf Rider came down on the board and the spectator mode went full blizzard on us. Where did Wolf Rider go? I don't know, but Stry Stryfkrow's looking at nothing moving. I hope it went base. I think it did. It had to. Why else would you play Wolf Rider in your deck? To trade? In, in a one drop? I don't think so. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. So the game crashed, but the game didn't crash. Things are going on. <laughs> I saw something that looked like a freeze, but it was the Wailing Souls effect. Oh, that's what that was, yeah. Yeah, it was like a, a blink, right? It just came down on the board. Um... So black screen, very good game. We still see someone. This is there. a this is a cosplay of Daredevil, like from first person mode. Okay, yeah. All right, reload. See if we can uh, we can see some Hearthstone. 
Wait, they're, they're st you can still see them playing with their cards. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but they, they play with one another and we can't see anything. Dude, that oil plus tinkers. Do you believe? Do you believe? Water elemental makes you so you can't No, attack do not. Like that. No, there is no water elemental. Water elemental is really good against an assassin blade that's been oiled. So, I don't know what's going on right now. Invite crashed. Communicating in one word sentences makes for the best communications because they're quick, Wait, simple, I think and straightforward. I think we should like commentate on like just the player's uh, expressions. Well, I also want to point the fact that like this guy who's spectating currently doesn't have a single class level ten. Yeah, and he hasn't won five games of practice. Most. He's. I, I actually just accomplished that on my EU, so like, I'm finally getting. Dude, quests now. you and I are the only players I think in the Hearthstone scene that don't have a collection on two servers. I feel like uh, everyone has like, like collections everywhere. I can play limited amount of decks in you. Like, yeah, I, I can, can play. I can play in tournaments on you. Like, okay, just good. not all the decks. I can play like Face Hunter. Yeah, that's, that's good, about that's, that's about it. Yeah, that's like what eight hundred dust. So why are they refusing to invite him? Right, it's, it's like Orange's face just feels uh, like. Well, he's still drawing cards. There's a storm one that just got added to the hand. Yeah, but there's like a, a, there's a, there's a problem with these quests. There's today's quest, but they won't be completed until tomorrow. At this rate. The game is probably already I, over. I feel like we could just get the class at the level 10, though. Yeah, we could. Right now, it would be pretty simple. Um, I feel that might be more important. Like, I would like it if the spectator right now just decided to play some skill stone. Yeah. Instead of making me watch. Start at rank 25 with only the basic cards. Yeah, like angry and, chicken rank. And, and start wolf riding some people. I didn't mention it, but like I actually don't like I forgot to go to, to get to rank 20 last season on EU, so I'm missing a card back over there. Forgot the at the rank 20. I forgot to actually play on EU like just long enough to get the card back. Are they rematching? Oh, no, they're not. We're spectating again. They already like. Oh, you're right. Elemental did a ton of work, but now he's unfrozen. Oh. And about to die. Wait, Ethereal Conjure Ice Lance. Let's do this. That'd be pretty good. That'd be sick. He's doing it. He's doing it. There you go. Oh, Here we go. Ice lines, baby. Nope. Still pretty good. I Fireball is... Fireball goes well with the all face plan. The I like the face plan in many cases, and you this is one eight, of those cases. You put your opponent in the, There's a big weapon. You could get Blade Flurry and lose the game from that. But there is no Blade Flurry in that deck. Orange... Wait. Orange has a Flurry. But if there is a Flurry, you would still lose anyway, right? And no, if you flurry, no. you replay a five drop plus ping, you're good. If your opponent has five drop flurry, then you probably lose, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe but that, not. Like your hand's pretty stacked. Uh, you have a really good hand. Oh my god, Panther plus the the oh, oil yeah. looks like a hope. Does that set up label? <laughs> well, I think he's dead on board anyway. So GG. Is he? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, the best you can do is just go face. Yeah, like hope that Strike Crow kind of zones out. I like it. Yeah. Like so that that does eight this turn. Strike Crow's not high enough so to forget this. So you do eight the turn after plus the Panther. That's fifteen. And you pick turn, up Flurry. You and win. then the Flurry's twenty three. Yeah. Why do you concede? Well, I don't know. He doesn't do math very well. Yeah. Dude, I just want to point this out. Orange paid to get the advantage and just got completely crushed. Yeah. So he got completely skamaz, man. Wait, Ama or Orange lost, right? Orange lost. He two spent fifteen hundred Amaz points, and I is he negative? Is he under he's, he's negative, yeah. He, he lost this points. This feels great, because I got o 2 out of this event. Yeah. And I'm, I'm beating Orange. Yeah. That's that's so wonderful. So, in a nutshell, like, don't take the deals that Amaz offers. Um, they may seem good, uh, but they are not always what they seem. How did they seem good? He gave us no information. Well, he has a smile on his face. He seems trustworthy. There's like 30k people watch him a day and like him, right? So surely the guy's got something positive. Amaz is always smiling. That doesn't mean you should listen. I don't know. It makes me want to listen more. How, how do you take a D How do you just say, I paid this much for something without knowing what the product is? It's like a loot crate. Those are cool. So you're saying, Amaz is not cool. I mean, I feel like this was a test run, right? Like, we don't know what Amaz has to offer. Um, the next event, he's also got some really cool stuff. That's for sure. Um, I know that for a fact. You did really, like you're doing really nice. good on the Jeffrino thing. It, it was like a, it was like a warm up. It was a warm up. Yeah, I, I couldn't have gotten half of those though. Really? You don't play enough of them? I, I you don't. know the effects. You're like the guy that deals death rattle damage. No, no, I know the ones that are played in constructed. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Just know those. Uh, yeah. I don't play constructed. <laughs> I play Randuin. So that being said, guys, Trevor is gonna go back up against Admirable in the last match of the day. Uh, admirable with the unique decks. Um, he did pay 1k to get to redraft to three decks. Yeah, but and get the to final pick his decks. 
paying off. Yeah, it's paying off for so him, not Orange. So he's profitable right now, right? I think Orange might have gotten a bit of uh, of gold from that. Or Ch like Chalky points. paid five hundred. Did what, did he end up profitable or no? <laughs> I, I he paid, paid five hundred and ended so up in the... fifth place. I think. So I think he that gives you what? How many points? Nothing. I think. I think he's just I, I think maybe five hundred. No, maybe only, he's like he's breaking. It's only means delay that gets zero. I think. Okay, so maybe Orange is profitable by like five hundred. Okay. Yeah, this is possible. Anyway, we don't know the rules. We're just kind of winging it. Um, looks like Amaz is here to announce the grand finals coming up. We're gonna tag right now. Tag. Me and Riff are gonna cast the last match. Yeah. And then tag. everybody will be in the living room. I like because that. Because I will recap the scores. So Sap Noxious bringing Wreckful and Amaz for some dank memes. Yep, that's right. That's good. Oh, huh? All right. I'm ready to meme. You ready to meme?